this is where I'm. A right angle triangle. And we can use the subatomic to find out what the missing side links are. What's I'm going to do that. <laughs> Okay, so so the sum of is three different formulas. So this one's sin, opposite, and uh, hypotenuse, and then this one is cos, adjacent, and hypotenuse, and then that one is tan, opposite, and adjacent. The longest side on a right angle triangle is the hypotenuse. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the side that we want to find out. And the side opposite the angle is the opposite. And the side next to that angle is the adjacent. The formula that we will be using to find the hypotenuse is sin. This formula is sin angle times opposite over hypotenuse. Then we use the angle which is 30 degrees times the length of the opposite which is 15 over the hypotenuse which is unknown. Then the hypotenuse equals 15 over sin in brackets 30 degrees. The length of the hypotenuse is 30 meters. So we now are finding the length of the adjacent. We will use the tan formula to find the length of this side. For this formula, we do tan and brackets angle times opposite over adjacent. We use the same angle as before, which was 30 degrees. We write the formula as tan 30 degrees times 15 meters over the adjacent. We then write adjacent equals 15 over tan 30 degrees. The length of the adjacent side is 29.98 meters. We are now going to find the perimeter of the entire triangle slash one. The longest side, the hypotenuse, is 30 metres. The opposite is 15 metres and the adjacent is 29.98 metres. All we have to do to find the perimeter is add all these sides up. The length of the entire triangle slash one is 74.98 metres.
As you can see, maths is present in our everyday life. One example of this is maths in running.